everyone, this is Kala, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. So, we're back in the dungeon, at last, um, and down below here is a large room that is pretty big and scary, and I don't like it, but, um, one user, um, actually reminded me that I have Confuse, and I just talked about having Confuse, and how awesome it is, so... No, that's not the screen I'm looking for. Um, it actually has a range, unlike in Source Old Hibernation. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just go in and confuse as many monsters as possible and run through as fast as I can. Maybe get lucky and get some hits in. But either way, I'm going to focus on using that. So let me change my macro real quick. Spells. Turn confuse to letter A. And... So I'm going to work on that, and hopefully, you know, that will all work out in my favor. I'm a little nervous. I am a little nervous, and I don't want this Let's Play to end, but that's actually the great thing about doing this Let's Play and releasing it one section at a time. It's that I get to, you know, look back and think, oh wait, I have Confused. Why am I freaking out over these things? And get better at this game, as I said, except for the fact that now I'm surrounded. Um... Let's confuse you, and you, okay, so I got two of them down, yes. found a weirdly glowing staff, I wonder what that does, oh, we'll find out, oh crud, oh, oh, this is bad, this is bad, um, blink away, far away. That was dumb. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This is so not good. Um. Potion of resistance. Oh god. I don't have much magic points left. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Um. Okay. Okay, I can breathe again. That's, that's good. I... How good at it took needles. That's so not cool. That's so not cool. And this game had been going so well, too. Nice. Okay, I'm invisible right now. I wonder if I can. The kobold's gonna shoot around randomly, a little bit more randomly now. better. That dies. Pour off that other potion of heal wounds. Oh god. I really want to just shrug off this poison. I was really hoping that that potion of resistance was actually a potion of uh, of healing to, you know, get rid of this poison. But what can you do? Okay, finally feel better. Gotten a few kills off of that. Let's see if I can... Well, I guess I can keep moving while I... Okay. Get a rest here. Okay. That stupid kobold that has been killing my life is now dead. I've used up half of my goodies, but I don't even care, because, you know what, that was terrible and bad, and I now have a blowgun, which I will probably use, and Kiku has seen to it that I, um, learned some actual necromancy, 
So let's read that. Um, okay, pain. Um, an animate skeleton. The thing is, the main thing I, um, Vampiric draining is helpful, lethal infusion is helpful, regen is helpful, anime dead, kind of. The problem with summons or, you know, anything like that is that I'm so fast that anything I summon would be left behind, on, you know, very quickly. That being said, they can help kill things in my absence, which is not a bad thing. And it trained my necromancy, which will come in handy later anyway. So I might, let me learn animate skeleton. And I can't use corpses anyway because um, because I'm a spriggan and I'm vegan. So I'm gonna pick up that dagger, find out what that does. Got a random scroll. But man, was that was that crazy or what? But I handled that a, even if. Maybe I didn't handle it excellently, but I think I handled it a lot better than I would have earlier in my playing career. Um, because, as you can see, I do kind of freak out, you know, when when attacked, when generally dealt with, and, you know, even though it's a turn-based game, and even though I have as much time as I want to think about it, I tend not to. And it's a bad habit, I know it's a bad habit, and that's something I'm working on, and that, as I said, that's really why I'm doing this LP, is so that I can get better at this game. Um, I think that, actually let me switch my, my macro back, now that, because I do like Ensorcel Hibernation, I like the, the guaranteed kill that I get out of it, um, the guaranteed stab I mean, doesn't, nothing guarantees a kill other than killing something. Um, can't eat that, be hilarious if I could create random chunks of things from meat potions, but I can't. Okay. Backing away. I have lots of guys to help me. Yep. Um, I am gaining experience for my slave's kills, which is great. Um, now I can handle them a little better. Awesome. 
Um, so, as you saw, I figured out which, which one was, uh, teleportation. I picked it, and it turns out that unidentified rig was teleport control, which means that, um, I can go around the dungeon much, much better than I could before. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that was wonderful. Let me rest real quick. Drop some stuff. I don't think I'm going to need that anymore if the other one's 1-2 one, of speed. I'm not going to need the other unidentified one either. Um, do I know? I know remove curse. I don't... No, I don't know, uh, the one that checks for cursed, uncursed. Let's, uh, read another random one. Cursed armor, that's okay. Cursed weapon, that's okay. Remove curse. There we go. Um. Wow. Wow. That, that was nuts. Let me just see something. That one doesn't really have anything special to it. Neither does that. Staff of power, but I, I need to be wielding uh, a dagger anyway, so. I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Wow. This game has been going so much better than I thought it would. My stabbing is up to level 6, which is great. Um, I'm going to stop concentrating on it. My next big goal, I guess you could say, is to learn and perfect the spell Invisibility, which is pure Hex's skill. Um, so I'm going to actually start training... Uh, well, let me see. Uh, spell casting makes it easier to learn and cast. And Hex's make it easier to learn and cast spells at the school. Okay. So, um, I guess I'll start by training spell ca um, spell casting to the point where I can, um, learn it, which I can't right now, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, and then in the future, I will work on training my hexes, um, so that learning it will be easier. Okay, here's something. So, there is a glowing drain here. This goes down to an area known as the sewers, which is one of many, many areas in Crawl that are randomly placed. Unlike larger dungeons such as the lair, um, the sewers don't have any of the runes that we are looking for. But they are, can have lots of good kills, obviously, lots of great experience, and sometimes some really excellent items. Um, the thing is, this is on a timer. So, I am not sure if I can explore the rest of this level in time before the drain shuts off. So I'm actually going to save here and ask you guys in the comments if I should um, go into the go into the sewers or not. I can provide a link in the description to some basic explanations on what hap what the sewers are like. Um, though I don't know, I'll probably just um, quote Henzel the uh, learn the learn database from the IRC channel in my description about about the sewer. So let me know if you want me to go down here or if you just want me to finish off D4 and head down to D5. Um, or if we find something else on D4, depending, because we haven't finished exploring it yet. But I am going to stop here. And as I said, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.